This is a quick 5 minute ACT math review. This is meant to be done the night before or the morning of the test. Make sure that you pause the videos and try the question yourself before you see my explanation. Let's get started. Number 1. Marcus's favorite casserole recipe requires 3 eggs and makes 6 servings. Marcus will modify the recipe by using 5 eggs and increasing all other ingredients in the recipe proportionally. What is the total number of servings the modified recipe will make? What we have to do here is create a proportion of eggs to servings. In the regular recipe, it's three eggs makes six servings. And we wanna know for five eggs, how many servings do we get? To solve for x, first we're gonna cross multiply. On the left side, x times three is three x. And on the right side, six times five is 30. To get x by itself, we divide each side by three and we'll get that x equals 10. So if he makes the recipe with five eggs, this will make 10 servings which is answer choice C. Number two, the 35 member history club is meeting to choose a student government representative. The members decide that the representative who will be chosen at random cannot be any of the three officers of the club. What is the probability that Hiroko, who is a member of the club but not an officer, will be chosen? The total pool of students who um, Qualified to become a government representative are the 35 members minus the three officers. That provides a total of 32. So the probability if the person is chosen at random is just one out of the total number of people, which is 32. And that's going to be answer choice K. Number three, for what value of X is the equation 2 to the power of 2X plus 7? equal to 2 to the power of 15 true. When we have an equation where the base is the same, we have to set the exponents equal to each other. We're going to have 2x plus 7 equal to 15. To get x by itself, first we're going to subtract by 7 on each side, and we're going to get 2x equals 15 minus 7 is 8. To get x by itself, we have to divide each side by 2. And we'll get that x equals 4, which is answer choice B. Number 4. Let the function f be defined as f of x equals 5x squared minus 7 times 4x plus 3. What is the value of f of 3? Since they're asking for f of 3, they're telling us that x is equal to 3 by replacing the x on the inside of the parentheses with a 3. So wherever we see an x in the equation, we're going to plug in 3. We're going to get 5 times 3 squared minus 7 times 4 times 3 plus 3. 5 times 3 squared, 3 squared is 9. 5 times 9 is 45 minus 4 times 3 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. And 7 times 15 is 105. 45 minus 105 is negative 60, which is answer choice J. If you learned something new in this video or you want a higher ACT score, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.